Well, uh, blessed people, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me uh, this past night. The Lord, the mighty God of Israel, the tremendous King of righteousness, the judge, the creator of all the universe, the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, he that chose Jerusalem, the creator of all mankind upon the face of the earth, the earth and its fullness thereof. Blessed people, he has spoken with me this past night about the meeting that is coming up this weekend at Yaya Kilimani. Now, there is going to be a very big visitation there at Yaya Kilimani. The mighty, mighty visitation of Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah Yahweh, Jehovah Sabaoth, Jehovah Rohi, Jehovah Sidhenu, Jehovah Mekadishken, Jehovah Gana, the mighty, mighty, mighty God of Israel. And in this conversation, the Lord has already taken me to that mission. So in this meeting, God the Father himself, God the Father himself is going to come down and visit the meeting. He's coming down to visit his servant, the two servants that minister before the Lord of all the earth, like you saw them ministering at Menengai Tree, the two olive trees that the Lord did show me grow from the earth here, almost reach inside heaven, huge trees that stand before the Lord of all the earth. So, blessed people, the meeting that is coming up at Yaya Kilpani in Nairobi, the joint service that will take place, is going to be a mega meeting, and God the Father himself will come and visit his servants there. And, uh, I have seen the first part of the conversation. I saw the cloud of God came all the way from heaven. He came all the way himself and visited his servant, covered his servant at the altar. He covered the first servant and then he covered the second servant, the first prophet of the book of Revelation, chapter 11, and then the second prophet, of the book of Revelation, chapter 11, the tremendous host of the throne of God that he has deemed fit in his concealed wisdom in the upper chambers of the wisdom of God in heaven and release them to the, upon the face of the earth, to the earth, to the universe. So the cloud comes down, touches down, and again touches down. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, look at that, look at that, look at that. How he would come. When he came, the voice of the Lord Jehovah, God the Father himself said, look at that, look at that. And he touched down. The cloud like that which comes and normally settles on the roof of the tent wherever they minister, like we saw at the Nakur main altar, the huge cloud of Moses, the cloud of the God of Moses that visits his servant Moses, the one that settles, the dark cloud that settles on the roof of the tent during the ninth international conference of pastors and the ministers of the gospel. So that cloud comes and touches down. That is now God the Father himself touches down. And he does that twice. He touches down where each of the two prophets is. So the first touch down and the second. Then he said, look at that. Look at that. Look at that by his own voice, God the Father himself. And he lifted me up into the throne room of God Almighty so I could see the visitation from heaven. How he is coming to visit his two mega most fearful, most fierce, 
and the deadliest prophet ever sent to the earth. The one that the Lord said by voice, that these are the same two angels that come back later and destroy the earth and set it ablaze. After the Nakuru Menengai 3 meeting, again, after the Nakuru Menengai 3 meeting, while back to Nairobi that night, the voice of the Lord spoke as I was preparing to meet the pastors from the many nations that had assembled at the head offices here. And God the Father said, these are the two angels that come back later after the millennial reign of Christ and totally destroy the earth and set the blaze. So the Lord Yahweh lifted me up into his heaven, the throne room of God the Father inside heaven. And that is a place that not everybody goes to. And he showed me from there how he would visit these two mega prophets upon the face of the earth. And I saw from above how his cloud, the cloud that lifted the children of Israel from Goshen in Egypt and came and visited with them on Mount Sinai and delivered them to the promised land, brought them to the promised land. So I saw that cloud coming to Yahya Kilimani when the two mega prophets of heaven, the most honored prophets of Jehovah Yahweh inside heaven, when they were ministering at the Yahya Kilimani, then I saw the cloud come all the way from heaven. He came from heaven. I could now see him. He showed me how he would come and visit with them. He visits the first one, cover him, and the second one. And he said, look at us, look at us, look at us. In a tremendous way, the voice of God, the Father, Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of the armies, the commander of the armies of heaven, the creator of the universe, he that was and is and lives forever. Jehovah Yahweh. May those who have ears listen to what the Spirit of the Lord has spoken this morning. So dash shalom. Shalom haverim. Baruch Hashem. Toda Hashem. Toda toda. Bokertov.